nine. Um, I'll just do this one. If you guys want me to do the B, that's perfectly fine. I'll do it as well. But what they say in this problem is they say, find the value of theta in degrees between 0 and 90 and 0 and 2 pi. So the first thing we need to understand is exactly, well, where are they talking about between 0 and theta and 0 and, or 0 and 90 degrees? Well, guys, remember, if we're talking about an angle and we have a rotation of how our angles could be, remember, if here's where we're always going to start, right? all the way around, or halfway around, we would say it's 180 degrees. So therefore, if that's 0 degrees, if we rotate up to there, that'd be 90 degrees. right? In terms of radians, Halfway around the circle would be pi. So then half of that would be pi halves. So what they're asking us is find the angle that is between 0 and 90 degrees and 0 and pi halves. So all we're concerned about is finding the angle that's what, what in we call the first quadrant. All right? So they're asking us secant of theta equals 2. All right? Now, when given secant, ladies and gentlemen, the best thing we want to do is go back and refer to our reciprocal functions. All right. Remember, if we said um, the secant of theta, that's equal to uh, the hypotenuse over adjacent. And the cosine, which is the reciprocal of that, is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So what do you guys know about the value of cosine compared to the value of secant? What do we call theirs? They're switched. They're called reciprocals. So therefore, if I said, what is the cosine of theta? If theta gives you secant, if theta gives you 2, the cosine of theta would give you 1 half. So where, where in the first quadrant is cosine equal to 1 half? So now we have to go back and look at our angles and say, oh, well, cosine is equal to 1 half at this point. Right? By knowing back your unit circle for the first quadrant, we know that that's in the first half, so we can put that away. And then we need to say, well, what is that angle? Well, that angle is pi thirds in radians, or 60 degrees. All right? So theta is equal to pi thirds, or 60 degrees. OK? That was how you do that problem. All right? Um, you guys want me to do B?